welcome to your practice today. We're going to be doing a vinyasa flow that has an element of balance in it. And we're going to feature the chair pose. So chair pose has many different names. And today we're going to refer to it as powerful pose. So let's begin with a warm up. I'm just going to turn to the front of the mat. Hands back to the front of the chest and then clasping your fingers together. Send your arms straight out, nice tall spine, and then start to take your back backwards, rounding your spine. And then come to that tall spine again, and then reach your arms up. Notice if your ribs pop forward, can you tuck them in and engage your lower belly? Push those palms up, turn the thumbs up and the baby fingers down. And then relax your elbows out to the side as you take your hands behind your head. Letting your head be supported. Inhale, gaze up, coming into a little bit of a supported back bend. And then next breath, bringing your gaze forward, taking your hands behind you with the fingers facing forward. Staying uplifted into that little tiny back bend, lean back, lean back a little bit more so that your toes come off the floor. Your ankles are crisscrossed. And then we're going to crisscross the ankles the other way and then come back to your upright position, bringing your hands forward again, clasping the hands, sending the palms forward, stretching, sending the back backwards and stretching. And then tall upright spine, reach up alongside the ears, keep the ribs tucked in, the belly toned, and the thumbs moving up and the baby fingers moving down. And then relaxing your hands behind your head, elbows to the side. Inhale, look up, be, let your head be supported. And then exhale, look forward to take your hands behind you. Keep that uplifted breastbone as you lean back a little. And then a little bit more to take your toes off the ground. And then crisscross your ankles the other way. Let your um, feet land. And now we're going to bring our arms forward to a count of three, two, one, we're going to go back to boat pose, hands behind us for support. You can keep your toes close to the ground or you can uncross your legs, take your shins straight up from the knees. Two more rounds like that, crisscross, go forward for three, two, one, lift up, hands behind you, back to boat for three, two, one, crisscross, fold forward, three, two, one, one more boat, go back, lift your shins up, three, two, and one, swing your legs over to one side, come to a tabletop position, and then bring your hips towards your heels. And then just taking a moment here just to connect into um, engaging those lower abdominals. So we're gonna take an inhale, and then when we do our exhale, we're gonna breathe out like we're breathing through a straw. So keep your hands on the lower abs so you can feel the action that's working. Inhale. Exhale, pursed lips like you're blowing through a straw. Feeling that inward moving action. We'll try that again with the hands on the floor, leaning forward a little bit. Inhale, same breath. Exhale as you breathe through your straw, push into your hands like you're trying to lift your knees, but they're not actually going to lift. Push, feel the abdominals bracing. Finish your breath. Beautiful. That's what we're looking for in our push-up positions. Let's come back to those hands and knees, and we'll try that out in a push-up position. Take your right leg straight back. Push your right toes into the ground so you can feel all the muscles along that right side of your body fire up. Keep that engagement. Notice where your hips are in space. And now we're going to keep your hips in that height as you step your left foot next to your right. And then keeping that strong feeling throughout the entire body. One more big breath. We're going to call this a full push-up. 
We're gonna tap our knees to the ground. We'll call this a half a push up. And then we're gonna shift hips to heels for a child's pose. Now we're gonna continue by just going forward and back, just shifting, rocking forward, not losing the bracing of your abdominals and back again. Two more forward, not letting the hips drop and then go back again. Once more forward and back. Now let's take it into a flow, adding a down dog into this. Go forward for the half a push up, full push up, down dog position. Go back to full push up, half a push up, child's pose. Two more, shift forward, half a push up, full push up, down dog. Shift forward, full push up, knees down, half a push up, hips back to heels, child's pose. This time when we go into down dog, we'll stay. Shift forward, half a push up, knees up, full push up, hips up and back, down dog, and stay. Walk your feet just a tiny bit closer towards your hands and get yourself settled into your down dog. Thinking about lengthening through that spine. It's okay to have a bend into your knees or not. Just ensuring that we got the length through the spine. That's our primary stretch here. Now our next breath, we're gonna take the feet a little bit further forward, just like four, five, six inches, and wide, wide as the mat, making it a short, wide dog. Maybe your heels get a little closer to the ground, this one, this variation, or maybe not. Again, you can have the bend in your knee or straight legs, making sure though that that doesn't put rounding into your spine. And starting to walk your hands towards your feet till your heels connect to the ground. And then just relaxing your torso over your thighs so that you're hinging at the hip. You're not bending at your waist at all. Your upper body is just draping over your legs. And now we're going to put the hands to the shins and push the hands into the shins to lift up your chest and your head, straightening your arms, your legs, your spine for a halfway lift. To come fold over again, hinge at the hip and the knees and fold over, relaxing. Two more. Lift up through the chest and the head, straighten the arms, the legs, the spine. Exhale, fold over again. One more inhale, lifting, exhale, folding over. Hands to the mat. You can move your feet a little closer towards each other here. Let your hands land on the feet, head still soft and relaxed. Keeping a soft bend into your knees as you slide your hands up your legs, slowly coming up, slowly, slowly with the head relaxed. Shoulders roll back, and finally, the head and the knees finish with a tall mountain pose. Bringing one hand in front of your heart, and then the other in a prayer position, and then walking to the front of your mat. We'll take a moment here just to do a preview of the sun salutation doing a forward fold and coming back up again, what that's going to look like. Let your arms relax by your side. And just really think um, as we're doing this forward fold about hinging at your hip and your knees with a long spine, no rounding in the back, through the waist. The hinge comes from the hip. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Your heart comes down towards your thighs. Hands land to the shins. Inhale, take the halfway lift, straightening the arms, the legs, the spine. Exhale, hinge at your hip again, bending your knees, folding over your legs. 
coming up the same way we came down, head, heart lifts, reach your arms to the side and all the way up. Let's take that into our sun salutation, folding all the way down with that generous bend in the knees. Inhale, hands to the shins for the halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, step your right foot back and then keep your left knee forward for a couple of breaths. Thinking about moving forward through the breastbone and moving backward through the tail. From here, we'll take it into the full push-up position, hands flat. Step your left foot next to your right foot. And then take it to the half push-up, knees to the ground, hips to the heels for child's pose. Shift forward for the half push-up. And then the full push-up, knees up hips up and back, down dog. Take a breath, shorten your dog a little bit. Now bring your big toes together. We're gonna um, inhale to lift the right leg high. Look forward, shift your whole body forward to step your right foot to the front of the mat. And then finding your lunge position, heart forward, tail back. And then just notice the bend in your front knee. When we step the left foot next to it, we're gonna also have that same bend. Go ahead and push a little into your left foot to step it forward. Keep that generous bend. And then hands to the shins, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over. Starting to rise up, head, chest lifts, and then reach up to straighten those legs up. And let's come all the way back down again. Big bend into the knees. Inhale, hands to the shins, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over. Stepping back with the left foot this time. Keep your breastbone forward, tail back. And then back to that push-up position. Shoulders stay over the wrists as you slide your right foot next to left foot. And then come to the half push up, knees to the ground, and then go back to your child's pose. Shift forward for the half push up, lift the knees for the full push up, lift the hips for the downward facing dog. Walk your feet a tiny bit closer towards your hands, big toes together. Inhale the left leg high, look forward to step your left foot forward. Find your lunge again. Take another breath here. Notice the big bend in your front knee. We're gonna push into the back foot to step it next to the front foot with that big bend as well. Hands to the shins, inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, folding over, bent knees and hips. Starting to come up, arms alongside you, heart up, reach up, everything up. And then arms down by your side palms to the heart. Let's take a moment to see how you feel after that warm up of sun salutation. And then we're gonna turn this into our powerful pose. And I'm just gonna turn to face along end of my mat for visual for you. We're gonna start off in mountain. And then as soon as my arms start to go out and up, I'm gonna to start to hinge at my hips and my knees for powerful pose. Starting to reach the arms out and up, hips back and bending and arms alongside the ears or wherever they're most comfortable. Maybe they come a little bit further forward. And then from there, arms down and then you straighten the legs. And now when we're gonna do it, we're going to, um, when we straighten the legs, we're gonna lift up the right leg. Let's go back to that powerful pose. Inhale, hinging at the hip, reaching up. As we come up, we're gonna put the weight into the left foot and then straighten up, bringing your right knee up with you, keeping the foot flexed as though it's standing on the floor. Let's go back to powerful pose. You start to bend your knees. And let's do the other side. Weight into the right foot, start to lift that left knee. And then back to powerful. And then 
to mountain. All right, we're gonna throw a tree pose into that now. So feet a little bit apart. And you're gonna go on the tippy toe of the right toes and pour the weight into your left leg. Bend both your knees so you can grab to the inside of that right knee and that's gonna help bring that knee up towards you. Straighten your left leg, push into the left foot to lift up and get lots of support through that left foot. And then use your other hand to help get that right foot up to your left thigh. You can hold on to it, you can stay holding on. If this is not workable for you today, you can put the foot to the shin. You can even put the big toe to the floor and the foot to the ankle. Whatever variation you chose, arms up to the side, taking first finger and thumb together. And then inhale, reach your arms up. Take another breath. And now when we transition out, we're going to bring the right knee forward again in front of the hip. And then we're gonna go back to that powerful pose with both of the knees bending. And then to straighten up, let your arms come down. And the legs straighten. All right, let's go for the other side. Tippy toe on the left foot, heavy in the right leg. Left knee out to the side, both knees bend. So you can grab to the inside of the leg. It's gonna help lift the leg. Really push into your right foot to lift up your left leg. Bring your um, right hand to the left ankle to help it come to the thigh. See if you feel steady there. If that's not your pose today, try the shin or the ankle. Whatever variation you chose, put your arms out to the side. First finger and thumb touching, gazing steady. And then go ahead and reach your arms up. And then the next move, you're gonna bring your left knee forward. And then we're gonna go back to that powerful pose, both knees bend. And then back to mountain straightening and then arms by your side. Hands to the heart. Turning to the front of the mat again. We're gonna use that powerful pose to get us into the standing postures. Relax your arms. Inhale, arms out to the side and up as you hinge at the hip. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over. We're gonna come back up again, keep the hips low, reach the arms by your side, heart up, and then keep your hips low, reaching your arms up. And now you're gonna straighten your left leg, bring your right knee in front of you and your hands to the heart. Start to bend your left knee, take a gentle step back with your right foot, a crescent lunge. And then once you get settled there, bend both your knees, straighten both your legs. Two more, bend and straighten and bend and straighten, and then this time we're gonna stay with the knees bent. Taking your hands shoulder distance apart, and then reaching your arms up. Let's stay three breaths. We'll transition now to warrior two with the right arm reaching forward. And now the right arm is gonna go down and back and you pivot on your back heel to bring your arms to shoulder height, front knee over the ankle and breathing. One more breath. Keeping the legs as they are, going to reverse warrior, back hand to the back leg, front arm up to the sky. Try 
Transitioning back to warrior two to get ready for extended side angle. Find a bit of a reach forward to bring your front elbow on your front knee like a shelf. And then your back arm up, reaching up. Let's take that to a reverse triangle, reach up through your top arm to come back up, straightening your front leg, back hand down, front arm up, reaching. And now prepare for triangle, arms to shoulder height. Find a reach forward, find your front hand down, Anywhere along your leg, and your back arm up, keeping a very light touch with your hand on the leg, or you can take the back of your hand, pressing it into the inside of the shin. One more breath. Let's come back up to a warrior two by bending the knee, arms up, and then palms together in front of the heart, straighten both your legs. We're going to walk the back foot forward a bit and then take a big step forward to the front of the mat. Ready for the other side? We're going to step the left foot back this time, back to our powerful pose, arms alongside the body. Inhale, hinge at the hip, arms reach out and up. Exhale, straighten the right leg, push into the right foot as the left leg lifts, hands to the heart. Start to bend your right knee and lean forward to take that gentle step back with the left foot. Bending your back knee and straightening both your legs. Two more, bend and straighten and bend and straighten. We'll bend one more time and stay here. Take your hands to shoulder distance apart and then reach those arms up. Two more breaths. We'll prepare for warrior two by reaching the left arm forward. The left arm swings down and back and your back heel pivots down. And then find your arms to shoulder height Front knee over ankle, nice wide reach. Reverse warrior, back hand down, front arm up, leg stay the same. Back to warrior two for the transition to extended side angle, reaching forward to find length and right elbow on right knee, left arm straight up, lifting up. Let's take this into a reverse triangle, reach up through the top arm, straighten your front leg, back arm down, front arm up. Now triangle, arms to shoulder height, find that reach forward, front hand gently touching anywhere along the leg, just off the knee, or taking the back of the hand to the inside of the shin, we're supporting each other, the chest wide and open, long line of energy from your right fingers through the left fingers. And let's transition back to warrior two, front knee bends, lift up through that top arm, straighten your front leg, hands to the heart, walk your back foot forward a little bit and step to the front of the mat. Let's come down with the sun salutation. Arms relax, inhale, reach up, exhale, hinge forward, inhale, halfway lift, 
Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, right foot, knee down to the floor, and then left foot and knee down to the floor. Coming down to the forearms for a cat and cow. Inhale, tail up, breastbone forward. Exhale, tail down, tummy tucks in. Two more. And breathe. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And neutral position. And then hands and knees, neutral spine, I should say. Hips to heels. Pause there. Hero pose. One more breath. Shift your hips to one side and bring your legs forward. We're going to continue with our boat poses. So bring yourself a little closer to the front of your mat. We're going to start on our elbows. So just come on down to the elbows. And then just notice if you did a little bit of a slump backwards. If so, just start to lift up your breastbone again and get that little curve in your low back happening again. Keep that uplifted feeling. And then bring one knee towards your chest and then the other. And just breathe. So you can stay in this variation if you like, or you can take yourself to your hands. Put one hand flat, push into it, and then the other. Your elbows are going to be bent behind you. You can play around here, maybe straightening out one leg in a diagonal line, bringing it back in, the other leg. Bring it back in. And if you're feeling like you want a little more, you can take your hands in front of you, keep that breastbone lifted, or you can even take the hands off the ground with the palms reaching up, lifting up, up, and in. One more big breath. And then the feet land to the ground, soles of the feet together and knees come apart. And letting your hands land onto your shins anywhere. And now we're going to take it into a hip opener pose. So from um, this cobbler position, keep your left foot exactly where it is. And you're just going to pull your right foot towards your left thigh. Let that right leg just be completely relaxed. And thinking about that lifted spine, hands anywhere, and then hinge from your hip to move forward. Moving forward over that front shin. I'll go on a diagonal line. One more breath. And then lifting back up again. Put your feet back into that cobbler position, soles of the feet together. Keep your right foot exactly where it is, and then just let your left foot relax towards your right thigh. Letting your hands be wherever they're most supportive. Inhale for the length. Exhale, hinge from the hip, not rounding at your waist. And then inhale, let's come back up again. And then bring both of your knees up, feet together. And bring your feet in nice and close and then just hug them in there. So hug them in, get tall through your spine again. And then you're gonna wrap your left arm around your shins as you take your right arm behind you for your twist. One more breath. And now other side, right arm wraps around the front, get lifted, and then take your twist to the left.
and slowly look forward. Let's come on down for our final resting pose. So first come down to your elbows, easy does it, and then the back. If there's another posture that you would love to do, or you get into that final rest, please do it. Maybe it's just knees to the chest for a big hug or a rock. Or if you're ready for a final rest, you can have your feet on the floor, knees bent, or you can take those legs straight. And then let everything just melt and relax. Let all the effort go. We'll be here for a moment, a minute. Eyes open or closed. And slowly beginning to transition now, taking a little bit of a deeper breath, maybe starting to move the head a little bit side to side or the fingers or the toes with a wiggle. If you wanna stay resting, just stay here. Otherwise, if you're ready, let's put one foot to the floor and then the other, and then one knee to the chest and then the other. Hug them in. Rock them side to side. And then go ahead and roll to your side. Let your bottom arm be like a pillow for you. Pause there. Slowly coming up with your head completely relaxed, top leg extends, hands pushed to the ground to support you to come back up. Find your comfortable seated position again. And then just let a big breath go if it's in you. Eyes open or closed. Turn your palms upwards. Bring your palms together in front of your heart to close off your practice. Go ahead, open your eyes. Thank you for practicing with me today.